I received a video on Twitter from Jeremy McClellan, who's a comedian who lives in South Carolina, about a video that he filmed inside of a Trader Joe's. A friend of comedian Jeremy McClellan's, who wishes to remain anonymous, says that she and her friend were in line at Trader Joe's when a woman got in line behind them. The woman behind them seemed to be in a hurry. It's this woman that's pictured here over my shoulder. And so they allowed her to go in front of her. OK, here's a Facebook post sort of explaining what took place, where Jeremy McClellan said a friend of mine who wishes to remain anonymous just sent this to me. I've confirmed that it's real. This happened today at the Trader Joe's in Reston, Virginia. This woman was in a hurry. So my friend, who's a Muslim woman, offered to let her go in front of her in line. That's when she started talking bad about a different Muslim woman in the store who was wearing a niqab and asked my friend why she didn't cover as well. My friend replied, it's a choice. And the woman didn't believe her and started talking about FGM and telling her, I wish they don't let you in the country. That's where my friend started filming. Let's pick it up there. And as you can imagine, the video is absolutely outrageous. Take a look at this. I wish they didn't let you in the country. Excuse me? Huh? I was born here. I don't know if you... Oh, you were? Okay. okay. Obama's not in office anymore. We don't have a Muslim in there anymore. Yeah. I wish he was. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. He may be in jail, too, in the future. You look a little crazy. Maybe you need to get some help. Oh, I'm fine. No, you're not. Because you don't just strike up a conversation with people in line talking about stuff like that if you're normal. I'm very normal. Yeah, it looks like it. I can tell. What set you off, Obama? So I, I want to address this in a, in a couple of ways. Number one. The there was a mention made in there of you look crazy. It's easy to just say, oh, this is a mentally ill woman. Most mentally ill people aren't racist, Islamophobic ideologues who aggressively confront random people in grocery stores, right? Obama may be in jail. Who could possibly believe this stuff? So I think it's important. I know we colloquially say this woman is insane, but most people who struggle with mental illness don't have the thoughts nor audacity to say this stuff that this woman has. Yeah. And a lot of the times when you're in a confrontation, you say things that you later regret, even though you may have been in the right in that argument. Sure. And defenders of this woman or something. I mean, I don't know who would possibly defend this woman started saying, oh, this entire video was staged in some way. Yeah, there was a staged racist woman out at a Trader Joe's and it was sent through a chain of, of custody of the video. I mean, it's just absurd. The entire thing is going viral. Uh, Jeremy McClellan told us that we could use the video for a story to have the audacity to do this. I mean, many here's the reality. OK, many people think what this woman said, but most people have the decency not to publicly say these things, particularly to people that they don't know. This woman clearly had no filter, and that's a particular level of aggression towards people who were not like you. She had an entire grocery cart there, and all that was in there was a handful of avocados. Who does that? <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, can, who can does we, that? Are you able to? I didn't even notice that. Are you able to still the, the video at that point so I can look at that? that I want to examine the contents of this woman's cart to figure out what it is that's going on. Uh, I did, that did not even occur to me, Pat. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. There's, it's just a cart. It looks like there's it's just a bag of avocados in a cart. Who gets a cart for just four avocados? I think that's the real question. And she was in a hurry, too. Yeah. What were you in a hurry to do? Make guacamole? There's a lot more to this story, I think, than than what has been revealed so far. But needless to say, yeah, I mean, this is um, this is sort of like the worst sort of person that you could possibly bump into. And I've met probably a couple people like this woman in terms of level of, of aggression when it comes to others. And uh, it's it's just unpleasant to be around. Yeah. And of course, she has freedom of speech to say whatever she wants. But of also course. the other woman in the grocery store has freedom of religion yeah. to uh, practice her own religion. And, um, you know, that doesn't mean that these things can't uh, affect you negatively and you can't be publicly embarrassed for being out in public and saying these things. No doubt about it. And that is exactly what is happening here.